So as we just heard, the province is hitting pause on the opening of three new temporary overdose prevention sites in Ontario, including one in Toronto that was set to open today. The big question, is that the right move while we're in the midst of an opioid crisis? Toronto's Medical Officer of Health doesn't think so. She issued a statement saying that both overdose prevention and safe injection sites save lives, and there are studies and scientific literature to back up that claim. So how are you reacting to all of this? Now, the announcement stirred up a firestorm on social media, and reaction came pouring in as soon as the news broke. Leah Chapman says her pause in the midst of the Canadian overdose crisis means people will die. Is this a government of science and evidence or discriminatory ideology? Gillian Lunny agrees, adding, it's like pausing during a fi forest fire to figure out how to prevent forest fires. On the flip side, some say it's the right move. Mark Allen Whittle says the sooner they're gone, the better. Why waste time enabling users to live in poverty and misery? Renus Bailey weighed in, saying injection sites are bandages. Get long-term mental health help for these people. Now, as I said, we've had a ton of reaction to this story online, both on social media as well as on our website poll. So you can join in the discussion by tweeting at City News, visiting our Facebook page, City News Toronto, and you can read more about it and participate in our poll on our website, citynews.ca.